So in this episode of Large Person Wanderings, we're at the Outlaws and Lawsman Jail Museum and out here in Cripple Creek. You can take a quick peek up the street. Looks really pretty up here. You can see what the outside of the structure looks like. It is a jail. <laughs> so that'll be quite the experience. And how are we doing over there, babe? Are you ready for this experience? All right, so here we go. <laughs> so, this episode of Large Person Wonders, we are here, here at the Cripple Creek Jail Museum. And you can see what the cell block looks like and here's where the marshal's room was where else the warden would sit huh. here it's in Tilda County huh. Tell me getting her side profile picture. Let's see. Here's here we are entering the cell block itself. You can see what the inmates wore for their typical jail outfits. As you can see that this jail isn't a particularly large jail in size and it couldn't hold huge amounts of inmates, but there is an amazing amount of people stay here considering how small it is. As you can see on the lower level, the inmates did not have running water. They had to use chamber pots. This jail has been the site of numerous paranormal investigations, and as they have pointed out, you can, according to the sign back, you can see that it, they think it's strongly haunted. Various times there could have been as many as eight inmates per cell, and in order to cram them all in, they used hammocks to sleep on. Cripple Creek was a big gold mining town, so which attracted many 
con artists and thieves to go steal gold from the hardworking miners, and hence why a lot of these people ended up in jail for fraud, prostitution, drug running, etc., etc. Cripple Creek was notorious for having many murders over $3 a day is what the typical mine worker would earn per day for a 12 to 13 hour work shift. And here we are at the upper level of the cell block. Here's a very unique story and a very tragic one all at the same time. A bunch of people had a big dispute in the town. So they got back at the town, and they actually blew up the train station, literally, with dynamite. So, this is what the upstairs of the jail looks like. This is where the women were stayed. Kids. Here's some of the woman inmates who were tried for murder. This is where the caretaker of the jail lived. This was her room. Huh. Well, on this episode of Large Person Wandering, uh, thank you for joining us again on our unique tour of the jail museum that was a little different had some very crazy stories to read about it wasn't exactly the biggest museum but 
you're in the area, it's nice and a little quick to pop on through. You know, it's kind of one of those, it's okay. Um, again, we'd love to hear from you. If you have any suggestions or any comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. As always, my name is Jerome Crest, and thank you for joining us, and enjoy the rest of your day.